Hi, I'm Brian with Newberry Media. Today we're going to show you how to change or add a cover image to your Facebook page. So right now we're looking at my Facebook page. On the top left corner here you can see my profile picture, black sunglasses over a brown t-shirt. And this sort of uh, neutral, uh, sort of baby blue banner across the top here, that's where I put my cover image. So on the far right we click add a cover. And we get a little dialog box which is basically saying don't do anything that is copyright infringing. So okay. And now in the upper right corner that very same little thing has become a drop down menu. Add a cover. We can either choose from photos and that refers to photos that are previously uploaded to your Facebook page such as your wall photos, your profile pictures, or your mobile uploads. Or as we're about to do here, upload photo. So let's go ahead and click upload photo. And we get the familiar open dialog box. I go to my pictures. And okay, here's a good one. When you're doing a Facebook cover image, it's best to use an image where the subject of the image is in the bottom third of the frame. For example, this is a picture of windmills, and as you're about to see even closer up, all the windmills are at the bottom third of the frame. So I click this image, and I come down and click Open. And we can watch the status as it uploads here, top center of the screen. And there we go. Uh, drag to reposition cover. <laughs> Good thing. Where are the windmills? The windmills are here. Wait, where are they? There we go. Windmills. Notice whatever the subject is of the picture, in this case it's these windmills here, you want to keep the subject beneath this phrase, drag to reposition cover. See that? You can drag up or down. You want to make sure that they're beneath this phrase here. Because anything above the phrase will not be seen by people when they first arrive at your Facebook page. I'll show you why. Let's drop to the bottom right corner and click Save Changes. And there we go. And let's make sure that our page is all, scroll all the way up to the very top of the page. And then when we click refresh, you'll notice that uh, Facebook is going to move us down a little bit to about that location there. So let's try it. Scroll all the way up, click refresh. See that? Close the gap here. It's still there, we can scroll up and see more sky, but when you click refresh, or when your visitors come to see your page in the first place, that's how it looks to them. So that's basically how the cover image works on Facebook. One more thing I might want to mention, whenever you choose a cover image, down below here, Facebook rats you out. <laughs> uh, Brian Newberry updated his cover photo. Well, you know, I already have a cover photo up here on top. I don't want my friends to have to look at the same picture again. It's like a rerun. So I hover over this point here, edit or remove. I click it. I say hide from timeline. So that's it. That is how to set your cover photo. Now, if I want to change it, that's easy too. Change photo. I click the drop down. Choose from photos. Again, this refers to photos that are previously uploaded to my Facebook page. So I'm going to click on that. And again, I'm going to try and choose a cover image where the subject is in the bottom of the frame. Okay, how about these, this couple in Hollywood here? Click it. Two girls in Hollywood. And again, they do not come up above this phrase, drag to reposition cover. So long as they're between these two lines here, this baseline here, and drag to reposition cover. They should be okay. So I click Save Changes. I make sure that we are scrolled all the way up and then I refresh. And there you go. The two women are inside this banner safe. <laughs> and also if I scroll down, hide from timeline. There. So that's pretty much how the covered image works timeline. on your Facebook page. Hope this helps. Reporting for Newberry Media, I'm Brian Newberry.